Crafters, it's me, Jen Evers, with Quality Crafts, and welcome back to another tutorial. So every Sunday afternoon from 2 to 3 p.m. Central Standard Time, we have a tutorial of some kind of paper crafting technique or card making, whatever. It's going to be something really cool, so stu you know, stay tuned and tune in for the next ones. And every Thursday night as well, from 6 to 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Now we've got a, a five-minute card video coming for you this week. And then after that, um, we're going to take a week off and then we're going to start a new series on Wednesday evenings. And that's going to be a 10 minute timed card. But here's the here's the catch is that you guys um, are going to send in a challenge envelope to try to stump me into thinking that maybe I won't be able to make a card from what you send in. Um, it has to be realistic things that you can, you know, put on a card and uh, I'll do my best to make something really cool out of that. So I hope that you'll stay tuned and you'll you'll stick uh, stick around for that series that's coming up. And what I want to do now, because I'm on a few minutes early, is just say hi to all of the community that we have from the Quality Crafts Facebook group that joins us here in the live chat. We've got Annalise and Stamp Girl and Annie is here today. Thank you guys for joining. And if you're watching archived, you don't see the chat. That's okay. You can just bypass all this stuff if you don't want to hear the talking. Uh, I know there are still... Hi, Linda. Uh, there's still a lot of people that watch this archive that enjoy the community, the camaraderie, and the chat. So if you want to um, watch that, you can always catch it um, archived later on. And join us at on the Facebook page. Everyone's um, encouraged to join there because it's a non-commitment group. It's non-drama group, and there's no participation police. So if you can't participate in the swaps or the... Um, techniques that I do twice a week, then we, you know, we post them in an album so that we can see what everyone else is making. It's no big deal. It's no problem. Just come hang out and be inspired. So if you see somebody that pops in in blue, that would be a moderator. And we love having them around. And so one will be coming in soon, I hopefully, here. Um, we usually have two, three, four of them hanging around. So hi, Elise and Scrapping Pink Lady and Patrice. Patrice, I'm sorry. Patrice, I got, I got the, um, um, chance to meet her yesterday and talk with her and get to know her better. So that was really fun. And hi, Eva. And Eva is um, German, from Germany, I think. Guten Tag, Eva. Cheers. So my typical deal is that I come on early to make sure that everyone gets a chance. Hi, Adasa. Um, to come out, come in and see a little bit of what we're making and what we need, get set up, and then at 2.05, I will start the project promptly at 2.05. Hi, Annalise. Hi, Melissa. Hey, hey, hey. We're making this adorable kitty card today, and each one of them has a different embossed uh, texture to it. So you want to pull out a couple of embossing, po uh, embossing folders. These are the three that I used, and one is Darice. And that's the like the cross hatch pattern, and then I've got two cuddle bugs. This one is like a bubble pattern, and this one is like the Swiss dots, the little teeny tiny dots. So you can do whatever kind of um, embossing that you want to do. Pull out a couple of your favorite embossing folders. Hi Judy, hey D, Simonia, and Melissa Richardson. So another a couple things that you will probably need. Uh, definitely some craft card stock but make it uniquely your own if you don't like the craft look use a white card stock or use a pattern paper behind them it doesn't really matter um i didn't i couldn't find the pink paper that i used so i'm gonna fudge the pink paper by using a piece of white and a marker and this is always a really good technique if you don't have something that matches so take your markers uh, water-based alcohol-based whatever you have and color a, a sheet to match it Hey, Kelly. So glad to have you. Thank you for coming. And then I have a bone folder. I have a black marker because I like the stitch lines. And then you can make um, the little eyeballs and the little whiskers. And then I have a white gel pen because that's what I use to write my sentiment. But if you don't want to use a white gel pen, you don't have to. Oh, Linda, you made it. Yay. Welcome. I'm going to just take a second here to grab my punch because I neglected to grab a quarter inch punch for their eyes is all I used for that. 
So you might just have a regular old um, paper punch. And let me grab mine. That looks like this. This works awesome, but mine just doesn't. It always like tears the paper a little bit. So I've got this one as well. They're both a quarter of an inch. So whatever you have. If you don't have that, then make their eyes a little bit bigger with whatever punch you have or cut out circles um, freehand from paper. Hi, Tarita Johnson. Thanks for the hearts, guys. Oh, so cute. So we've got about two minutes left. I just want to say that um, my channel is a sustainable channel because of my patrons and because of those of you who use my affiliate Amazon links. So you can go to qualitycrafts.com at any time and find all kinds of products that I highly recommend and use. And those are always always listed in the store. So qualitycrafts.com up in the right hand corner, click on store and then scroll down to the bottom and you'll find all of those links. They're always there. If you want um, spe special links to something else, just let me know. I'm glad to help out. And so back to the patrons. Um, this is our latest patron list, and I just want to give a shout out to Deborah Miller and Deb Witt, who are my two VIP patrons. And our newbies are Patrice Mis Misek, Alicia Fowler, Rhonda Bryant, Kelly Lees, Tammy Valley, Paula Harris, Sharon Walton, and Chelsea Hill. So thank you guys so, so much for being a really big part of me starting to go full time on YouTube and being around for you guys, you know, way on into the future. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, I'm not completely full-time now, only only because it's summer. When fall comes, I will be going back and working for the school district full-time. So you'll only see me probably um, sneaking on during breaks and uh, in the evenings and on the weekends and that sort of thing. But as this progresses and the Quality Crafts community grows and grows, I will be going full-time. So that is an all thanks to you guys for hanging around and share, share, share. Um, the bigger that I get, the faster I can go full time. And that is my dream. That This is my dream job to be here with you guys to making sure that um, I can make really fun and exciting projects accessible to even the beginner. So if you're a beginner, yay, thanks for being here. 205, we're going to get started. So I'm just going to scoot a little bit of this stuff out of the way. And I always start with the base. We're using craft card stock. So this is a half, half of a regular uh, sheet of paper. So it's four and a quarter by 11. And I'm just going to fold it in half. So that's going to be four and a quarter by five and a half, which is a regular A2 size card. And I like to have a bone folder around for this stuff because this card stock is pretty thick. Make sure I get that crease at the top. There we go. And that's where our cats are going to go. Now, if you want two cats and you want to go the long way, you can do that. If you want to make your card um, cut it in half, the, the like stubby way I call it, if you open it up, if you want it to be five and a half across, you can do that. However you want to make it uniquely your own. Oh, Judy, good point. So if you go into one of my Amazon links, and you decide that uh, you want to buy something else, like maybe you want to buy underwear for your husband. I mean, I don't know what you're shopping for on your end, but even if it is non-crafty, I'll still get credit for it. So if you're um, thinking about buying Christmas presents, birthday presents, a uh, wedding anniversary gift or whatever, and you're using Amazon to purchase it, uh, go in through one of my links. That would that would really help out my channel. I'd be really grateful that if you do that. So think about those things ahead of time. Christmas time will be a really big big time when people are purchasing a lot more. Um, I would love to be your go-to link for that and share that with your friends and family, my links, if you could, that would be awesome. So I am going to do the card the same way that I did this one where it opens up to the side. And I'm gonna do three kitties similar to this, maybe not the exact measurements, but if you want exact measurements to these three cats, Go ahead and join us over on the blog because one of our bloggers will be putting up the measurements and stuff to that. You'll be able to see this and that way you won't have to like scribble things down really fast and whatever. Um, so for right now, these two are approximately one and a half by three and three quarter. And this one is approximately one and a quarter by four and a quarter. So you see his little ears pop off the top of that card. If you don't want that to happen because of your envelope, just cut the um, rectangle a little bit shorter and then make your little fishtail cut, okay? 
not a big deal. So to save time, I still have some of my scraps from when I did this. So I'm going to pull out three of these different um, patterns that I have embossed here. <laughs> Patrice, I, right? Well, you're here now, so that's super. I'm happy to have you here. So I've got three patterns here. This one's really hard to see because that's the Swiss polka dots, but that's a nice um, size for one of the cats. You just want to make sure that when you put your cats on there or your rectangles, that you have a little bit of space in between and that they all fit. That's the only thing you really have to worry about. Hi, Tenzer and Grammy Pammy and Night Angel and Donna Joy. Oh my gosh, 7 a.m. there and you're up crafting with us. Whoop, whoop. So 7 a.m. It's, oh, it's Monday morning for you guys then, right? Holy Hannah, cheers for being up early. All right, let's go ahead and cut some of these down. I feel like this little skinny cat here is probably a really good width and that's about a one and a half, no, one and a quarter. So that's what I'm gonna cut mine at today. I'm just gonna do one and a quarter because I think that's plenty wide. I want a little bit more space on my card. I'm not going to throw away these, though, because these scraps can be used on something else, as you well know. Um, I'm gonna, I'll reuse them. So I'll use that one and this one, and then I just need to cut this one down. And then it's up to you how tall or fat or squat or skinny or whatever you want your cats to be. If I make mine about the, the height of my card, which is four and a quarter, then I can always cut them down. So I wanna go ahead and cut off the ends where I've got this flat piece where there's no embossing going on. I'm gonna see if I can't just cut all three of these at the same time and see if this will go through. I'm not sure. Let's just, let's just give it a shot. Yep, totally works. So what are you guys up to today on a Sunday afternoon? Oh, googly eyes. Great idea, Night Angel. You guys always have the best ideas. I'm always so busy creating and researching and looking for ideas that sometimes I just don't think to tell you stuff like that. So having you guys around is a real bonus for me. So now what I'm going to do is just cut straight down the middle of these three pieces and then cut from the corner in to create that the ears or the you know the fishtail thing and that's it that's all there is to it and so then they're all the same they don't have to be the same because like i said this one says dare to be different he's different his little fishtail thing should have went the other way but i accidentally put them all straight up but it you know make the card uniquely your own they're all going to be different and that's what's super fun about it because when i go to, when I finish here, I'll go over to the Quality Crafts Facebook page, not page, group, sorry. It's a complete, I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but there's a complete difference between a Facebook page and a Facebook group. I have a Facebook page and that's where my um, giveaway for a full set of Spectrum Noir, Mar Spectrum Noir Aqua Markers are be given, being given away right now. So if you aren't in on that, go to my Facebook page and enter in the pinned post. Just make a comment. Tag your friends if you want them to win too. Um, but my Facebook group, which is called Quality Crafts, there's a lot of stuff going on there too. Oh, lay chat, you made it. Whoop, whoop. Hey, Josie. Um, go on over there. And I forgot, I just lost my train of thought. If you want to join, if you want to enter the challenge or the giveaway, go to my page. If you want to be inspired and hang out with the community, go to my group. Both of them, well, one's called um, Quality Crafts, What Are You Crafting? That's the page. The other one is called Quality Crafts, and that is the group. I hope that makes sense. I hope that cleared up for some, some of you guys who maybe have been looking for us and wasn't so sure. Now, I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of um, ink edging with Walnut Stain around my cats. You could do a lighter brown. If, you're, if you don't have craft cardstock, then just use white cardstock. 
or a brown cardstock, and then um, do your inking in whatever color that looks good to you. If you maybe want to do inking with the black to make it stand out a little bit more, I'm going to do that because then they'll pop off that craft cardstock really nicely. Oh, trying to unplug the tub drain? That's a stinky job. We have a snake. One of those long, skinny plastic snakes with the little two little hole things that you like, you know, they're like little holes and you, so you can pull it back out of the drain. I have one of those around all the time because we rent. And so there's, there's like two, one to our right and two below us. And so our pipes are like all kind of connected. Plus I have long hair and that goes down the drain a lot. So I'm constantly using that just to make sure everything's open and working. Just to avoid exactly what you're doing. Oh, that stinks. Oh my gosh, a cookout. That would be fun. Hi, Deanna. Hi, Donna Joy. Thank you, Kelly, for keeping up with me and, and putting all those links in. I really appreciate you. I sometimes wish that I had these um, videos a little bit earlier in the day. Would you guys want them? I mean, I could not for Tenzer. Obviously, she's up at seven. She doesn't want it any earlier. But do any of you guys, would it be better if I went earlier? I'm only asking because sometimes when I get up and I have, I know that I have a video coming up, I'll just sit here and like be stifled until my video is over. So I've wasted like the whole day until 2 p.m. Not being able to move on because I'm waiting for this to happen. Does that happen to any of you guys? Like, you're just like, I'm waiting for something, so I feel like I can't be productive now. Like, I need to get over that, but <laughs> sheesh. Sometimes I just find myself in that trap. Can't get the cover off the drain? Oh, you gads here. I hope you have somebody there to help you with that. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Josie. You're so sweet. Okay, so if you don't want them to be that tall, like maybe I want my middle guy because he's different. I want to make him a little bit shorter. I'm just going to go ahead and eyeball this and cut it off and then re-ink him because I just chopped off the part that I inked. No big deal. Just re-ink him. And I'm going to make sure that he's upside down this time. Now, if I do it this way, there's not going to be a whole lot of space to put my sentiment. So keep that in mind, too. If you want to move them over so that you have a bigger block here to write in, then move them over, you know, tilt them a little bit or tilt them all the same way, however you want to do this. I'm thinking if I tilt these out and tilt him that way, I have a nice big block here. That's kind of how, this is my dry run. This is like, okay, this is where I want these things to be. Oh, okay, D. thanks for letting me know. So a lot of people wouldn't be able to go earlier. So maybe, um, maybe if I moved it a little bit later, I'll, I'll knock that idea around in my head. No, nothing's going to change right now. I'm just thinking for fall. For fall, I go back to school full time. Not to school, but I work in a school. <laughs> Sometimes people are like, oh, what are you going to school for? No, I work in a school, so. Cheers, guys. Um, I also did the, uh, the, blah, blah, blah. the inking around the edges of the full card, too. And I really think that makes a huge difference. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, too. Well, I got my ink out here. Massive clear out of our living room and bedroom. Yeah. You know, when you have, um, everyone's got chronic things in their lives. And when you push yourself, you pay for it. You, you got to take care of yourself. Got to take care of your health. Oh, which is why I should probably mention that I am going on vacation, a staycation, um, starting on starting this friday whoop the 21st so while i'll have some videos that are going to be going out there won't be any lives for just a little bit here as i take a vacation and transition into putting out that new series that's going to be going on that i talked to you about in the beginning of this um <laughs> oh thanks tenzer she said don't worry about me i'm just sitting on Bed in Sunday morning, not crafting along. She she could watch later. She said, "It's so sweet." So that looks cool. Let's put our cats back on there. We monkey around with how we want this to look. I still think that would be a really fun way to do it. Put them on like that. 
Make sure I got my opening to the right because sometimes I mess that up. Now you can pop these guys up, which is what I did here. You just use a little bit of, you can see the white in there. The um, double-sided foam adhesive, which I have at qualitycrafts.com if you're looking for that. I do sell it slightly cheaper than the regular brand, so um, just might want to go over there and check it out. Also, if you're looking for um, ideas and recommendations on what I the what things I use, um, other than being or uh, going to the website, you can join us on qualitycrafts.com or become a patron and join us on the patron only private group. And um, you'll see a lot of recommendations of things from Amazon that I pop up. So I'm just going to go ahead and put my foam adhesive. I love popping things up. You guys know I'm just crazy about this stuff. And I'm just going to put one big strip down the middle of every single one of them. Two hour time difference, huh? That's too big of a strip. Gotta cut a little off. If I cut a little off, I just put it on the back side of this and I save it for another project. There we go. Okay, and like I said, for the noses, if you don't have pink paper, you can do what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna use a marker and color this paper pink. That's how I'm gonna do that today. Should probably do the corners, that'd be quicker. So if I cut this, they really don't need very much. Their noses are really tiny. And they're basically just triangles. So that's completely up to you how big you want your triangle to be. But I'm going to cut this in like what looks to me to be a pretty good square. This little square here. And then I'm going to cut it in diagonal like an X. I'm going to get rid of the rest of this because I don't really need all that. Okay, so I'm going to cut from corner to corner. And those are a bit big. Although if you want really big noses, that would totally work. I'm just going to cut my down one more and that way I'll have three of them. I'm just going to cut from the corner to the middle. And one went flying. No worries, I got it. So now I've got two of them and then I'm just going to cut that other one and those are going to be their little noses. And if they're a little bit crisscrossed, it's okay. I mean, if one, if they're not a perfect triangle, that's no big deal. So this one I'm also going to cut from the center to the point and create two more. I really only need one. So that one that flew away, I'm going to just leave it alone and put that one on there. And I use my little glue bottle. to glue these guys down. So you just decide where you want your nose. Put a little bit of glue down and then glue that nose on. If you've got like one of these things that has sticky on the end or you can create your own by using a little bit of sticky tack, poster putty on the end of a skewer works nicely. Go ahead and use that to get it picked up and positioned because that'll save you on chasing that stuff around your desktop. So if you guys want to see these done with, um, I always forget which way I want to do my triangle. I do them with the point facing down, but you don't have to do that. You can do it any way you want. If you guys want to see this done with little googly eyes, I can go dig my googly eyes out. I think that would be really cute. Oops, I dropped that guy. I'm going to use my sticky thing. Just rub that glue off, no big deal. Just rub it off. Uh, the kitty strips that I'm do I'm using right now are about an inch and a quarter. The ones that I did here were much wider at um, an inch and a half, an inch and a half, and about an inch and a quarter. I think the googly eyes would be really cute. Let's just try that. I think 
in this pack I only have one size so one size fits all they'll get the same size googly eyes uh, I want to make sure that I have everything drawn on here first at least the um, the little whiskers and for that I'm using an artist pit pen Faber Castell artist pit pen and I'm just going to take a couple of swipes from the uh, nose out so depending on what kind of pattern you have embossed that might be a little bit more difficult or not depending on what you have because you'll have to go over you know the little bumpies and stuff That looks a little funny. I'm going to add one more in there. There we go. And then let's, I'm going to actually glue these down and then do the googly eyes so that I'm not picking them up and moving them around and tipping them upside down when I'm trying to put the googly eyes on because I want them to have a chance to dry. So I'll have to use some wet glue for that. So now that I kind of know where I want these guys, we can put them down. That's a good idea. One, just one of the cats with googly eyes, and he'd be the different one. That is a great idea. Let's do that. He'll be different because he's upside down. And you could do it in any order too. If you want your different guy, you know, to be on the end upside down, that'd be cute too. Put that guy on there. And these don't even have to be cats, you know. Like these could be dogs or koala bears or, you know, whatever you can think of. So let's go ahead and glue these googly eyes down on him. I'm not sure if this glue is going to hold these. I think it will. But if it doesn't, then I would go and I would do a, use a glue dot or I would use like a glossy accent type of glue. So cute. You can make um paper look like googly eyes too. And I'll show you how to do that. So bring out your little punch for the eyes, the little quarter inch punch, and punch yourself out four little eyes for the other two guys. Right, reindeer? That'd be so cute. You guys have the best ideas. So I'm going to use my little sticky thing here and put a little bit of glue on and then put the eyes down. Now don't worry, if you glue the eyes down, okay, and you put the little black mark for his eye down, you know, you color it on, and you're like, whoa, that's really bad, I don't like the circle that I did, just punch yourself out another little eyeball and put it right over the top. No problem. I don't think I got enough glue on there. I don't want too much glue because I don't want it all sneaking and oozing out the side. Okay, so then I just took uh, another black marker. You can use the same pit pen, but because this one has a brush tip, I feel like I don't get a really nice circle. So to try to do the circle better, I use one that has just a small tip like this. And these are Zig Writer pens. So one side is a small nib and one side is just a bigger nib. And then I use these to make the little circles. And you can make them where, wherever you want him looking. Like this guy right here, I put down in the bottom left. So he's kind of looking down at this guy. This guy's just looking like, oh my gosh, what's going on here? <laughs> oh, just have fun with it. This is such a cool project. All right. Now, if you want to put other little things on here too, like little, you want me, you want him to have little bow ties. I think that'd be super cute. I have some paper off to the side here. Then I wonder if maybe we can make a couple of cute little bow ties. I think this would be super adorable.
That's pretty good. So I'm going to make two rectangles about approximately the same size or so. And then I'm going to figure out approximately where the center is and just cut two triangles out from corner to corner and do this side too. Like an hourglass sort of to make some little bows. I think it'd be cute, much cuter if they were brighter paper. It didn't quite stand out as much as I thought it would. Let's grab a different color. Let's do a bright bold color. Um, Going back to the eyeballs. Now, once you've done the eyeballs like this, if you put glossy accents over the top of these, they will have the, the look of faux googly eyes. So if you want that, um, I'm trying to, I'm trying to catch up on the chat. I'm not, I, I'm completely out of your world right now. Um, go ahead and do the little eyes like that. Punch out the quarter inch circle, draw in the little pupils, and then put a little bit of glossy accents or um, that kind of stuff on top. And then they look like googly eyes. So cool. We could do that. But I know I'm going to stick my hand in it, so I'm not going to do that right away. I'm going to grab another color paper for the, for the bows. I'm thinking, why don't we go with this deep burgundy? I love this color. Burgundy is my absolute favorite color in the whole world. And very, very few things come in this color. It's like a deep wine color. It's so pretty. So all I'm doing is just creating two more rectangles, like I said, and then cutting it in an hourglass kind of a shape. I like this deep color. I think this will show up nice. Nicely. Okay, so then we just cut to the middle and out. Red bows, yes, red bows would be cute. I'm just gonna use this because this is like from some papers that I had laying around. Okay, then we've got two little bows here, and I think that I'm gonna put some little some little uh, gems on there. I think that would be really cute. See so what kind of gems I got laying around here. Let's see what I have, some stuff that I haven't used up. So like, I'm always trying to use up stuff that I have laying around. Oh, these gold ones would be pretty. Let's do that. That's different. Gold and purple, or burgundy, however you want to say it. We have to glue these guys down. Polka dot bow tie be cute too. So I'm going to glue these down. I hope to see some other animals and some really unique styles in this. Now when I'm done making this video today, when we're done live here, or if you're watching archived, I want you guys to do it too. Um, go ahead and go over to Quality Crafts page, group. What's my problem today? The group. I will have an album all set up for you with this card in it. And I'd love to see you guys post your cards. So I'm just going to put these, one of these right in the middle of each bow. Look how fancy schmancy they are. Fancy cats. Look at those fancy cats. Oh, so cute. Let's make the little eyeballs wiggle. <laughs> that is super cute. Oh my gosh. I wonder, do I still have a gold paint pen that works? I have really bad luck with them because I don't use them often enough. Oh, that's silver. No, no, we need gold. Is this gold? I think so. So did we have anybody that came in late? I'm not sure, let me just post that up there. We're making a little kitty card. Now let's see if we can get this marker rolling. Oh, those are my measurements. I don't want to mess up that. Let's just use this little scrap we have here. Oh, I think it's actually working. Whoop, whoop. 
All right, so let's go ahead and do some stitching in gold because I think that would be really pretty. I'll hold it up when I'm done because I'm not sure this is really showing for you guys. I hope it is. Oh, the gold is so pretty in person. I hope that's picking up. Look at that. Oh, it is. Look at the camera pick that up. Woo. Do I know how to do rivets or eyelets? Um, I do have a crocodile to do eyelets, and I do have eyelets, but I just haven't done them. Oh, hey, Sharon and the Cademons. Are they here today? Whoop, whoop. A little heart for you guys. Thanks for coming. Um, I hardly ever use them, but I would like to. I just have to re- watch some other people show me how to use my crocodile because when I first got that I bludgeoned that thing I, I really wrecked it because I didn't take time to figure out exactly how to use it and it turned out uh, I ruined the little plastic piece but I'm sure that I could get it to put in some eyelets and stuff I'm glad you brought that up we should really start using a little bit more of those I have them laying around somewhere I will try to I will make a little note here try to remember to bring those out and do some eyelet setting. Some eyelets. What else did you say? Eyelets and... Oh, a corset card with eyelets? Oh my goodness, guys. Oh my goodness. Rivets. I don't know that I have any rivets, but I will look. I will add that to the list, guys. This is so cute. Look at them. What a fun card. I'm going to do black over the top of um, my darker marker. Here we go. I'm going to do black along with the gold just to bring that out. I feel like it's they're just kind of hiding a little bit. And if I do a little black line at the top of each one, I think that will really make them pop. So this is another little um, technique that you can use, but you don't have to. You can use whatever color um, stitching you want or leave the stitching off if that's not your thing. I, I realize that not everything that makes me happy makes you happy because we're not the same artists, right? We're all our own artists. Wow, I feel like that black kind of got sucked up and disappeared. We'll give it a good look over when we're done. I do like that. All right. So now all we have left to do really is to just put the sentiment on here. Dare to be different. Or you can put any kind of sentiment. You guys want to vote on, let's vote on the sentiment that we're going to do. Actually, I just want you guys to just shout out some sentiments because I can't vote I have you vote if I don't have a couple already. I mean, if you want it to be dare to be different again, we can do dare to be different. But if you want something else, shout it out. I'll give, I'll just wait a little bit for the leg to catch up so that I can see what you guys are thinking. And then we'll put the sentiment on there. God bless you. And while I'm waiting for you to do guys to do that, I'm just going to put a few of these tools away because my desk is getting just completely filled with stuff. Oh my gosh, sunglasses would be so cute. You're the cat's meow. That's cute. Thanks, Night Angel. Perfection by Lynn Davy. Oh my gosh, perfection is so cute. How about comment kindness? <laughs> you are perfect by Tenzert. Sometimes you feel like a nut by T Grammy Pammy. Oh my gosh, that's funny. 
That's so cute. Sunglasses would be ultimate. I don't know how to make sunglasses. How would you do that? I could draw sunglasses on one of them. <laughs> Break me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar. Break me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar. <laughs> you just have to sing that. When you see it in writing, you just, it, in your mind, you sing in it. I love I love the perfect. That came up several times, didn't it? How about you are perfect? And then in the inside we could say just the way you are. Oh, and you know what? We've got time. So let's add to this card. Let's just let's really bring this up. I'm going to cut this one down a little bit for the inside. I'm going to cut a quarter of an inch off each either side so it's 4 by 5 and a quarter. Okay, and then we'll distress this one as well. And we'll do we'll embellish the inside too. So everybody, anybody who does if you stumble across this and it's two years later and I've done this video and it's been over, um there, it's probably still going to be an album at Quality Crafts for this. And if by chance there's not, just go over to Quality Crafts on Facebook anyway and drop a picture of your kitty card or doggy card or whatever card you know you decide to make with it um, over there so that we can see that. Because that would be really fun to see other ideas from long ago pop up over and over again. So don't be shy if you've... Um, stumbled across this video and it wasn't live and whatever you know quality crafts is not going away so feel free to go over there and do that kitty swimsuits oh my gosh freedom that's awesome that would be so cute so cute i turned my fan off today just so it wasn't annoying you guys but it's getting really hot in here so see how i did that one just a little bit smaller and inked it so it would stand out more so on the outside we'll put you are perfect perfect um and then on the inside just the way you are you and r i'm gonna go over this a couple of times just so that it's really bold We can get one more iron there. And then I'm going to add just some little circles to the ends of all of them just to make it look a little bit neater of writing. Just make it a little fancier. Fancify it. Fancify it. You guys could fancify everything. Oh, look at that. You are perfect. How's that? You are perfect. And then on the inside, just the way you are. Is there a certain cardstock you can't use the ATG? with as I find it's ripping mine and not sticking. Sometimes the very, very thin, like um, what you get in the kids section, the very thin, like it's not cardstock at all really, it's more of like construction paper. When you roll the ATG across it, it will lift up the paper and rip the paper. What you have to do is push down really hard, maybe use your finger to make it stay and then roll it gently across. But in those cases, I highly recommend using just a wet glue from the bottle. If you find that you have a certain kind of, thanks so much, Josie, you're such a sweetheart. Um, if you find that your paper is tearing with the ATG tape, switch to regular um, wet glue. 
okay? So you are perfect, and on the inside, we're going to put just the way you are. And this is, I probably won't do a lot of talking while I'm putting this down, just the way you are. And just like the outside where we did U R, we're doing the U and the R, just like we did on the outside. And we're gonna fancify it with little doodads on the end. If you had gems and you wanted to put little teeny tiny gems on the end of each letter, oh, that'd be so cute. I don't know if I have any that are tiny enough. If we have extra time, I might look around for that. But I wouldn't do it on the inside of the card because, you know, that's just going to leave dents and stuff. I would just add it to the outside. That would be so cute. I'm going to look for those in just a second, you guys. Thanks for hanging in there. Look at that. Just the way you are. Just the way you are. You are perfect. Just the way you are. So let's see. Yes, we have time. Let me look and see if I have teeny tiny, those teeny teeny itty bitty ones. Well, I have itty bitty teeny tiny black ones, but those are not what I was hoping for. Oh, these are really close. Are these going to be small enough? I want that to, to dry. Just so you know, if you use a white gel pen, make sure you give it time to dry. Because if you close this card, you're going to have all white smudges on this side. You don't want that. You know what? I think that if I'm going to close this, I'm just going to have to put a piece of paper on the inside. Just so that it won't wreck my card. That'll be good. Because I want to put these gems on the outside. And they're a little bit big. I think you can even find smaller ones than these. But since these are the only ones that I could get my hands on at the moment, I'm going to go ahead and just do, um, the, I think, the U and the R. <coughs> Pardon me. Huh. Oh, there's Lionoid. For those of you guys who love to hear from Liney, there he is. He says, Mama, it's almost 3 o'clock, and that's when I get fed, so, like, get on it, woman. Yes, baby. So cute. Look at that. But if I put rhinestones on every single one of them, that's going to be like crazy. So I'm just going to do the U and the R. I think that's good enough. Just the U and the R. Otherwise, it's just going to be like way too carried away, I think. But that's cute. They don't shine half as much as they do in real life. <laughs> well, thank you for the bless you there, Linda. I think this is dry. We could close it now. Look at the difference in these two cards. Which one which one do you guys like better? I think that I did a lot more inking, edging inking on here because this is inked way further like further in and I used a lighter brown I didn't use a uh, walnut seed on this one I used tea dye on that one pretty sure it was tea dye let me look yeah I used this one tea dye oh thank you Judy so much should we dance for Judy because she did so Judy's name is bright blue because she used the uh, super chat underneath the little part where you can super chat right by the little icon. I should have had my music up for you. Oh, I didn't know that that was coming. <laughs> Yay, thank you so much, Judy. I really appreciate that. <laughs> it's a little, a little dance for Judy. Yay, Judy! 
Thank you so much, Judy. Little dance for you there, girlfriend. And I'm stuck on my mat. Oh, let me push that out back out. There's a little mat behind me. You guys probably don't see it, but the cat likes to lay on it. All right, let me move these guys out of the way. And that sums up our card for the day. You definitely don't need a full hour to make this cool card. You could probably make like four or five or six of them in an hour, right? And pull out all those unused gems that you have laying around, you know, and your papers, scraps, so that you can put in your little bows and embellishments and stuff. You don't have to have a lot of paper for that, just teeny tiny pieces. And don't forget about your markers because your markers, you can color these. Um, let me just color one real quick. This is a lighter color, so it's really turning up light. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Oh my gosh, you can hardly see that. That one's pink. <laughs> so I guess use a brighter, bolder color, but you can color these to match your project. Let me change the autofocus here. Right there, that one's pink. Right by my finger. Oh, you can hardly tell. I'll go over it again one more time. Depending on what they're made out of, you might be able to let them dry and put a second coat on. Oh yeah, you can see it. You can see that it's pink now. There's just so much shadow in here, guys. Oh, okay, forget it. It's just gonna make you guys like sick in the head from watching all that. But yes, so if you're gonna get clear gems, I put some really cool multi-sized uh, gems in the Facebook group today. So if you're looking for that, there's an Amazon link for it. And then take your colored markers and color them. Let me get a darker color so you can see like maybe a blue. So if I color one of these, a deep blue, should be able to see this better. Oh, for sure. Oh my gosh. And that would totally, yeah, pink was a bad idea. Bad example. Look at the blue one. And it would totally match your project because you'd probably be coloring it with that one. So the pink one is here. And the blue one is there, obviously. Cool, right? Is it okay if I put a board in Second Life with a link to your sites on it? That would be awesome, Sharon. Feel free. Alrighty. I think we're done with that project. There's just so much other stuff you can do. So really, make this uniquely your own. Join us at Quality Crafts. I would love, love, love to see what you guys are creating. When we're done here, I'm going to go straight over there. I'm going to set up an album for you guys. I know... Some of you guys were crafting along with me because some of you guys always do. Although I didn't see Christy Essen today and she she's one of the ones that usually crafts with me every time. But I would love to see what you make. I would love to see like some different animals. Like if somebody would is really good at making koala, koala bears, that would be like totally the bomb, right? Freedom, if you're in the U.S., um, I did link some really cool uh, markers these are only 50 cents a marker if you want to get this set. You get 80 markers, 80 colors, and these are alcohol markers. They're called Ohuhu. And I love them. I have been coloring with these for weeks. I absolutely love it. There's really nothing wrong with them other than the fact that um, some of the darker colors do bleed out quite heavily, but so do the Spectrum Noirs, so do the Copics, especially reds and purples. Ooh, Reds and purples really do. So if you're interested in these, I have this linked in Quality Crafts. I think I have these linked on this website, but I might not at this point. I might not have gotten to that. But let me know if you want the link to those. I really love them. Where's my other... Oh, while we're, while we're yakking on that here, because we have a few minutes. Here's all the colors that you get. Here's a chart of all the colors that you get. So it's pretty a pretty comprehensive set for 80 markers. And 
they play well with Copics, they play well with Spectrum Noir. So I bring out my Spectrums and I color with my Spectrums and these and I mix them together, which I then I get a whole bunch of really cool new color combinations. And so Ohuhu markers, 80 set of markers for $39.99. So that's 50 cents. It's free shipping. Um, check that out if you're looking for that kind of thing you know, if you're in the U.S. And, okay, otherwise I could just keep talking to you guys all day because I love hanging out with you. But you know that I cannot wait to see you guys next video.